Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create symbols in Adobe Illustrator. Symbols are really useful for when you want to be able to uh, create a pattern using repeating elements, such as um, using the same shape to over and over again to create a pattern. Um, and when you want to uh, spray different shapes onto your design. So for example, if you were drawing a scene and you wanted to have some grass in that scene, then you could just create one tuft of grass or one blade of grass even, and then spray that grass um, in different parts or paint it onto different parts of your scene, just repeating uh, using the same one little tuft of grass in different parts of your scene. Okay, or maybe if you wanted to create one flower and then reuse that flower all over the um, scene. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna create a new document just going to create a large document here and I'm going to use the pen tool to just draw one tuft of grass. So I'll click on the pen tool up here and I'm going to set the stroke color to none. So I'll just click on that stroke box and set it to none. And then I'm going to click on the fill color box and actually I'll double click on that and I'm going to choose a green color here for my grass. And then I'm just going to draw a bit of a tuft of grass here. So I'm going to click and then click again and hold down the mouse and just move the mouse there to create a bit of a curve and then bring it back down. So I'll move my mouse down here and click and I'm click here and draw a straight line and then click down here and curve that line out like that. And then I'm just going to close that shape like that. All right. Now um, I might just copy that. So I'm going to press Command C or Control C if you're using Windows and then Command V or Control V if you're using Windows. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste that shape and I'm going to click and drag its edges there to um, flip it over. I might resize it a little bit as well. Maybe rotate it a little bit and then just um, might put it over like that or maybe just over here like that. Okay, maybe make it a little bit skinnier and move it around and that'll do. It's up to you what you want to create there. So you can create a bunch of different shapes and put them all together like that if you like. Um, now what you'll need to do is uh, open up the symbols panel. So if you can't see it here, um, click on window up the top here, scroll down until you see symbols and then click on that and you should see the symbols panel show up. Okay. And what we're going to do is from this shape that I've created or from the multiple shapes that I've created, I'm going to turn that into a symbol that can be reused throughout this whole drawing. Um, first, what I might do is resize it all. So I'm going to select all of it and then just shrink it down a little bit like that. Okay, make sure that every part of this shape is selected or if there's multiple shapes, make sure it's all selected so you can use your mouse to click and highlight everything, select everything. And then you just click and drag what's selected over here onto your symbols panel and let go. Give it a name. So I'm going to call it grass. And then it's important here that where it says export type, you change that to graphic and then click OK. All right. And now you'll see that you've got some grass here as a symbol. And so if you want to click uh, quickly, just um, add more grass to your scene, you can just click and drag the grass in from there and it will make copies of that grass. But what's really cool is using the symbol sprayer tool, uh, which is this one here. So if you don't see the symbol sprayer tool on your toolbar, um, what you can do is click on the three dots down here to edit your toolbar and you should see it in the list here. You might need to scroll down You can see it in the list and you can just drag it on to there. Okay. Uh, once you've got that, you might need to uh, hit escape to get out of that menu. But once you've selected the symbol sprayer tool, you can select a symbol from here and then you can click and drag to make a whole heap of copies of them. You can basically just paint them onto your scene like that. All right. So if you're wanting to draw some bushes or create some grass, um, you could use the symbol sprayer tool um, to do that. 
Okay, so maybe now what I could do is create some other grass of a different color um, and um, layer it over the top of this grass, um, or I could even use a gradient. All right, so that's how you use the symbol tool and the symbol sprayer to spray different um, shapes onto your scene. Thanks for watching.